Colleen Ballinger, Miranda Sings, has come back to social media. It's only uh, two months after her ukulele song, which was a hit that took the internet by storm. Oh, it's four months, my bad. It's four months after her ukulele song, which has 16 million views. So it seems that she's like, from what I can gather from the outside, it seems that she's just trying to continue going back to her vlog slowly and being a YouTuber that, you know, is just pushing through all the controversy of what she went through from what she did. I don't want to make her sound like a victim by saying what she went through. She just happened to, you know, have the whole world looking at her. So it is a situation. But uh, yeah, this is, uh, she posted a video called Fall Vlog and then what I've been up to. She's probably just trying what I would assume to, she's going to acknowledge it briefly in the first video. Video, and then she's just going to continue trying to vlog and probably just not look at any of the comments and just continue to make her videos until she slowly has the audience that wants to stick with her and everyone else doesn't really care to watch anymore because there's nothing really to say. Why is she back? Well, this isn't me defending her, but like, why wouldn't she be back? She's not in jail. This is her job. There are still people that are going to watch it. What else is she going to do with her life? You know what I mean? That's just how it's going to go. You're going to see this with a lot of social media people, unless the people get locked up in a jail cell to where they they can't, you know, post anymore. Or if they lose their whole account, of course. Uh, let's watch the first one that is a uh, fall vlog. Oh, here we go. Honestly, if she pulled out a ukulele again, that would be the funniest thing ever. If she's like almost like in on it herself a little bit mocking it, but she wouldn't. This has 39,000 likes and 93,000 dislikes. She does have like a pretty decent amount of support on this. I mean, that is 39,000 people hitting a like button. And obviously a lot of people are hitting the dislike button, but that's expected. Hello, everybody. Hi, uh, Miranda Sings. Sorry I've been gone for so long. I've really missed this. I've missed talking to everyone every single day. Um, obviously, all aboard. That I posted on here. Um, it's really embarrassing, to say the least. I was being accused of some pretty awful things, and I just address them. Just say it. We've all read the tweets and seen the videos. And um, I should have handled that situation with maturity and empathy. <laughs> Instead, I just let my ego take over, and I'm really disappointed in myself. Oh my gosh. Um, over the last 15 years of my career, there have been moments where I was immature and inappropriate with some of my comedy, and there were times when I did not put enough thought into some of my fan interactions. I mean, I, I'm not uh, saying this is perfect or anything, but this is already better than the ukulele thing. I'll give her that. <laughs> it's already better. Um, I think she should uh, actually acknowledge each claim but i guess that's like probably not something she wants to do when it's claims that are so extreme that like the ones she has against her and because of that behavior people got hurt and i am so sorry i never wanted to hurt anybody but it's clear that i did and she I doesn't address anything she's vaguely addressing it she's not fully addressing it she's vaguely addressing what's going on she's addressing it more than she did in the other video but she's not really addressing it yeah she's not hitting it on the head a lot of people don't do that for some reason i also feel like there's probably people who are disappointed or feel abandoned by me because of my silence over the last few months. Why Why does anybody like, why is she like trying to bring that up? Like with this situation, who cares that you were gone for a couple months or they feel disappointed? Like I think anybody that actually keeps up with you would fucking take this 10 seconds to look at all these commentary channels, etc., that have made videos on you and be like, oh, that's why she's gone. Okay, that was easy to gather. It's pretty understandable, <laughs> understandable for you to be gone. Quite honestly, it'd be understandable for you to be gone even longer to be quite honest, but you know, is she gaslighting us? I, I don't, I don't know if I go that far. And I'm so sorry about that as well. I needed to take time to um, you know, make sure I, I was listening and learning as much as possible. I also needed to get the help that I needed to, to be okay. Um, I'm a mom first and foremost before anything else. And I needed to take care of my kids. So that's where I've been. And, um, but I'm back and I'm here now. And I am not a perfect person. And there are plenty of things in my past that I wish I could go back and redo and um, fix and change. Um, I don't have control over any of that. And I don't have control over the things people say about me. I only have control over my actions moving forward. And so I'm going to do everything that I can to make sure that I create a positive, kind, inclusive, safe space online with my content. And if you want to be a part of my journey online, I want to have you. If not, I completely understand. Chugging down the tracks of I do not expect anyone to welcome me back with open arms. I don't expect to watch my next video. I just wanted to come on here and say that I'm sorry. Manipulation and, um, station. I wanted to try to show people that it's possible for someone to grow and learn and be better. I mean, that's that's valid. That's all you could want from someone: grow and learn. 
I think it's uh, pathetic, though, when people get called out for things and they don't just hit them nail on the head with it. Like, they don't just, like, go headfirst on each topic and address them and apologize and acknowledge the wrong that they did in those situations and try to go over why they believe they, you know, what they could do to grow from that. I think that's the mature and uh, responsible thing to do. But when it comes to growth, yeah, I mean, like, as somebody that's just on the outsider perspective, that's all I could hope for in general from any person in general but doesn't excuse the bad things as i've always said though i'm going to try to vlog again and today i'm just gonna fill my day and share some simple happy moments and you know start the process of starting over and i know it's going to be awkward and clunky at first that's true get back that's fair things but i'm gonna try so that's fair and thank you for listening and, and thank you to anyone who supported me in any capacity over the last 15 years i really really appreciated it yeah, let's get started with the day and see what happens. Damn. Yes, I honestly do not know how to. I mean, the human in me does does a little bit feel like I, I doesn't justify it or anything, but I do feel for another human being that, you know, is down. I do feel for that. But that does not mean that, um you know, nothing's, you know, that's not me justifying anything, of course, or anything like that. I don't know. Hopefully uh, she just keeps on bettering herself or something, you know, and can, um you know, hopefully she's successful in bettering herself. That's all. Um. Whatever the best outcome can be, I hope for that. Where do I even begin? So much has happened since the last time I vlogged. I mean, if I'm being completely honest, the majority of the last few months has just been spent in therapy. If I, if I like had all that going on, I'd be fucking, I'd probably be in a mental hospital, honestly. I've already been to one. I'd probably be fucking losing my mind. I'd probably be logging off. Un unless she apologized sincerely, I will never fall for this. Uh, that's fair. You don't, Yeah, I'm not saying, I'm not even like trying to say that you should or give her another chance or anything like that. I'm saying, uh, yeah, I mean, I like I said, I wish she addressed things full on, but that's a really courageous thing to do is to hit on topics that are making you look bad. Hopefully though, like when she said that she's going to try to do better and like she's been and doing therapy like she said hopefully it pays off that's all that's all i could hope for it's a little sad a little bit i'm not gonna lie but like that's not me trying to justify it as i said it's a little sad i don't know what to say maybe that makes me an asshole for saying it's a little sad i'm really feeling torn used to be a huge fan was pretty upset to see all the things that came out about you i'm happy to know you're doing well i don't think she's actually doing well i'm gonna be quite honest with you i feel like the apology was sincere but i want to see accountability i agree with the accountability part i want to see whether it's public or private apologies that would be great it's a very valid comment yeah i mean that's all I, that's all i hope for too i just hope for her to hopefully she means it and hopefully she uh betters herself i think the other vlog is just her vlogging and probably not talking about anything but um not as authentic as it should be well I, I would like to say i mean obviously there's times where it's super easy to just be like oh this isn't sincere like when she was playing the ukulele and shit and it's like okay she's just being a dick but um it's such a weird thing as humans to be like completely like oh this isn't authentic and shit you know what i mean like how are we like able to judge whether someone's authentic or not because if i was making an apology or if i'm being vulnerable which i've been in videos before some people could literally just be like oh well johnny's just doing this for attention johnny's this and that and that's always gonna happen i just feel like unfortunately you know obviously that's gonna happen with social media but to just invalidate that it could possibly be authentic it's just like i don't know i just don't want to like totally put that in the air until like unless there's like the in that particular you know place where you know it gives me reason to believe that it's not authentic fully she did hurt children i think they deserve it no i mean that's exactly what i went over in that comment i do think they deserve a public or a private apology and i think she should have um publicly addressed it in that video already i think during that time she should have went into detail on each thing and apologized and actually went through each one that's how i would have personally um done it in a situation of being called out it seemed a lot more genuine this time yeah i agree well i mean she had to sit on it you know what i mean it's been four months of being the talk of the town for pretty much in my opinion some of the worst stuff you could really be accused of <laughs> like honestly i feel genuinely scared for her kids i mean i don't blame you for having a concern towards them i would in my head i hope that there's nothing like that happening but i don't blame you for having that concern with you know her past but yeah that's my opinion on this situation don't know if it makes people upset sorry <laughs> i just I'm trying to be what i believe is fair on situations though your lipstick is color, don't bother, angel. I know exactly what goes on.